most beautiful places I've ever seen in my entire life. I, like a lot of us, am absolutely fascinated with the concept of living off the land, surviving. There's this primal and ancient place inside of me that lights up when watching any sort of survival reality TV. We see someone eating bugs and collecting berries outside a self-built lean-to and think, I could do that, even while knowing full well that we could in fact not do that. And yet it is so thrilling, the idea of connecting with the land on this deep level, it calls to me like an ancestral echo of lived experiences, muted by the overload of technology and social media, but still there, still reaching. And if I'm being honest, I've been feeling quite desperate to reach back. The weight of the internet with its trolls and scrolling and contention feels like a crushing force. Sometimes, even just the sheer number of voices feels like enough to drown me. And I know I'm not special or unique in feeling this way. A lot of people are hurting to disconnect in order to reconnect with people, with nature, with ourselves. A lot of people are hurting to slow things down. This is what was on our minds while filming and compiling this footage. And the result is a very special, beautiful and raw and unfiltered documentary of our time off grid that we really hope you enjoy. already know how I feel about therapy, which is why I'm super excited about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy where you can reach out and work with your therapist remotely using a laptop or your cell phone with their app. You can chat, text, call, I think you can email uh, and do video chatting with your therapist. To start out, you take a quiz to help BetterHelp know kind of what you need and are looking for in a therapist. And that can be anything from you know, struggles at work, struggles at home, uh, relationship issues, mental health. Uh, you take the quiz, let them know, and they will match you up with a therapist. Years ago, Jade and I tried couples therapy, and we met with a therapist and vowed to never return because that therapist was not for us. We went to the front office and said, we need a new therapist, and they said no. Or if we did want a new therapist, it was gonna take a long time to get a new one, and so we just never went back. That is not the case with BetterHelp. Because if for whatever reason you need a new therapist, maybe they don't have the right expertise, maybe you guys don't get along, they will work immediately to find you a new one and all you have to say is, I need a new therapist. There's no extra fees, there's no judgment, there's no anything. They just find you a new person that works for you. Therapy is great for all sorts of reasons in life, good and bad, I highly recommend it. Go check them out, betterhelp.com slash Evans. There's a link on screen and in the top of the description. If you use that link, BetterHelp will give you 10% off your first month. Thanks, guys. Our first taste of what it means to live off the land is a marathon of foraging, chopping wood, harvesting from the garden and the wild berry bushes, all part of a typical day in the life of our host family, who have been living here in their self-built yurt for the past few years, and who recently began building themselves a more permanent home for their growing family. I'm Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake, and this is Fox, and uh, we try to live life in the middle of the forest in Canada, and um, along the way catch our own food in the ocean, and grow our food in our garden, and wild yeah. forage, and we built a yurt we've lived in, and uh, we're now upgrading to recycled shipping containers and we're gonna, we take trees down that need to come down. We mill them up and use them as the framing for the containers. So this will be the next couple months of our life is built in it. They're so cool and have worked so hard to develop this raw land, to live off of it, to grow their own food, to learn about foraging and spearfishing and kelp harvesting and now they're building this. It's just awesome, very inspirational. Is it like us in a few years? And 
potentially this is us in a few years. <laughs> they have a YouTube channel and they just crush all their videos. You guys will love it. We'll crush in a good way. Yeah, they and kind of, they have not, a sailboat. Yeah. And a sailboat. They are the brand, they are brand new to the sailing net. We need more sailing videos if that's the case. We need to, we need to actually go <laughs> I somewhere. I don't know if you're classified as a sailing channel yet. We just need a good responsible person to live here and watch this place so we can take off and uh, do a Mexican trip or Alaska or... Would you like to live in the woods and take French care of a plot of land so these guys can go sailing? If so, yes. are you, are post you, your resume below. <laughs> why don't you guys jump up there and I'll film because we yeah. filmed. This is big. Yeah. What's the square footage going to be? Oh, it's 2,200 because each container is, I think, 420 square feet times six. So you're like 2,500. What? It's the light over here is freaking out. Yeah. How is that still on? How is it even still on? It won't turn off. It's possessed. Oh, it's so probably got water damage. Why wouldn't it? So this will be our pantry wood. So these are gonna be our shelves um, lining the pantry, which is just in this container over here. And if you look closely, you might notice that this is a tree. As opposed to normal wood. As opposed to normal wood. Yeah. They made this wood themselves. What's that process called? Uh, milling. Milling. Milling your own wood, yeah. Like a light like saw mill? That is so cool. And beautiful. And yeah, incredibly long. long. And very long. Where's the pantry? Let's push on the pantry. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, she's like, hey, I want to go. Yeah. You gonna climb it? Here, yeah, we're gonna see down here and watch it. Let, let's watch him from the deck. Look, there he is. Let's go watch him from the deck. So then you can see sunniest spot of the property, so that'll all be a gigantic woodshed. Okay. Pull all the wood, and then these concrete bays, those are my new compost bays. I'll have those full of wood chips and compost and stuff. Off to a great start. So then this will be protected through that sub floor, that wood deck on top of that. So you won't realize you're the one, the wood deck. Underneath is a metal floor. Um, ah. Great thing catch. To gutters, and then going into the tanks. I like it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna have an outdoor living space. We'll have a whole banister, and then we'll <laughs> do our meals here, and then we'll do like a New York style ladder up to the top top, and we're either gonna have that be probably like the coolest thing, at least in my opinion, about their new house is its proximity to the ocean, and what that means is a perfect opportunity for us to learn about some sea foraging. Hi, buddy. <laughs> we're going foraging for sea asparagus. Sea asparagus, but we're on land. Right, well, we're next to the sea. <laughs> yeah. We're on an island. Yeah, we're on a asparagus island. I don't know what it's actually called. So all of these, 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 Punch it, punch it. Look, I'll show you. This is why bears will flip them over because they eat them all. Here we go. All right, son. They're so grabby. Oh my goodness. So many grabbies. Oh, punch it, punch it. Mm. Mm. You want to hold them? Here, hands together. Oh, yeah. Oh, berries but they're not quite ready yet. What are those good for? Are they just good? Just good berries, yeah. Good for dying, the ones that I was telling you about, the, mm -hmm. the dark purple. Um, they die very well. Yeah. And she lives in Vermont. But yeah, she did an online program. It's a three-year program. And she'll send you like
the land here is so abundant and and so is Jake and Nicole's knowledge. Like they know all about the, all the different kinds of plants and it's super cool. I've always been super interested in the idea of foraging, but it's something I've never actually done in real life. Um, so this is definitely me living out a dream. And the sun came out, so I'm glad for that. That's we, definitely more dreamlike with the sun. I know, we don't do good in the cold, but this is just breathtaking, all of it. And it's, it's really, I'm, I'm having a really good time. Are you having fun, Brett? Super cool, yeah, yeah. So cool. I wanted to look around the corner. We're trying to find some more of those flowers. Oh, really? The white ones? I wanted to find some more white ones. For your sinuses? What are they called again? Hmm. No idea. She just taught me. Whoops. No, no, over here. Hold on, hold on. Where? That same guy? Yeah. Ooh. I don't actually think that I've ever seen seals in the wild. And I'm kind of really excited about it. They're really cool. Are they otters? I can't tell if these are seals or otters, and I honestly don't really know the difference. You'll know it close. Otters are. I know little. otters are really are a lot smaller. You get their data paws. Oh, am I gonna go after and ask to see his hands? You should. <laughs> Look out there. That was a seal. That was oyster. Yeah. But it's not oyster season right now, right? No, because you want to eat them when the month has them already. Yeah. So because July has no R, you know. Which is basically summertime, you don't do Whoa. shellfish. But. Please don't be here later in the year for these guys. And then when we take the shells and we powder them up and then add that to our garden as well. Do you make limpets? Wow, this this rock is really cool. Look at this area, it has like a bunch of things. Yeah. Did you, oh, did you put these here? I put two there. But oh, they're I was like, they're, like, they're not really close to like this. Do you eat these limpets? I've only seen them on the alone show. Oh, we had them at a restaurant? Yeah, they, they do limpets all the time when they look. This Look at this rock, it's so cool looking rock. Wow. A basket? You know that little tiny basket? Your, uh, your mahi mahi. Closer to the surface. <laughs> and they're like athletic, so they want the, the chase. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Can I please hold them out there? Let me, uh, please hold the try out their hippie hot tub. So it uses fire to heat the water. It's really cool, I'll show you the system. But because we're off the grid, we're living with nature, they have a hand pump well, it's not so simple as turning on the tap. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna haul a lot of water so that we can fill it up so that then we can turn it into the hot tub. That's what we're gonna do right now. And I'm super stoked. I feel like this is like, um, initiation like mm -hmm. that's the wrong word it's like like you just have to do this yep yeah. it's here we have to do it yeah i'm excited brett's getting the wood ready this is the first time he's ever chopped wood lies <laughs> <laughs> oh wow you're amazing oh thanks it's crazy that you can hear it echoing through the forest. I know, I was thinking the same thing. Well done. Do you, listen to that, you guys. Hear it echo. Crazy. Surgical. Hang on, I'm just gonna. <laughs> you gotta interfere in it. All right. Nice. <laughs>
You no, got it. You got it. It might take you five or ten. This is your workout for this. Oh, a little croquet. Ooh, that was a good hit. I, I heard a split. Yep. Like yep. Three hits away. Two. Two hits, Jade. One hit. If you can hit that next spot, same spot again, it's done for. Whoa. There it is. Oh, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's good. Yeah. It's like a middle. <clears throat> no. What is this? Hemlock. That's like a, that was a hemlock, like like a knot of one. This is like a good piece of hemlock. How old is this? Eight, nine months. That old? Okay. Yeah. Cause I put it away last summer. Child crossing. <laughs> like end of last summer. Oh, that one. No, maybe like your like turn, a Fox. Year. Yeah. A year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna split this first try, so no, no fear. Go for it. Damn. That's actually a pretty good hit. Yeah. Shook the ground. That's a captain fantastic. Hit. How you doing, babe? I'm so tired. We're doing great, though. Okay, the water. You got the wood. Yep. I just had to work out my legs as well as my arms. Smart. You got a little glutes workout. My arms couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Now I can use my body weight. See? Smart. I just have to stand up. You explain what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I am pumping water out of the well. So that pipe goes down. Yeah, go underground ahead. into the well and then I'm filling up this jug and this jug has a small electric pump that's pumping the water up to the hot tub nice but they don't have a pump for the well because that's too far to pull it up yeah. I'm gonna have bruises on my hand. I used to have one just like that <laughs> used to so snow peas I love these. These forever remind me of my grandma. She's a huge fan of your channel. Is she? Yeah, she is. Nicole gets mad because my grandma reminds me of tomatoes. No, I don't get mad. You just say it. Every I say it all the time. time. We walk by the tomato. Her grandma is sweet peas. My grandma's <laughs> tomato. This is a slug. Which I you harvest those? No. Get the hell out of here. If you were on alone, you would. Yep. <laughs> so I got protein for the week. I might hit the button first. <laughs> you also said the bowl uh, apple would be good. <laughs> well, these are blueberries, and I've been cultivating these. In That's really good. What was it? He was telling the truth this time. The it was a blueberry. Blueberries. Try chocolate mint. No. This is chocolate mint. It smells good. It's the best mint. That was a lot of it. Mm. Oh my gosh, it tastes like, like an Andes mint. Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. That tastes like an Andes mint. <laughs> like, like I just had a oh, candy like bar. Oh, like the company? Like, Andy's, like the brand? Yeah, yeah. chocolate with mint in the middle. Yeah. And this is all the zucchini, all the yellow flowers are zucchini. So you can see the zucchini is already coming. If you see that smoke over there, that smoke over there is because I'm keeping our little cabin really warm. So when we came back, I put more wood in the stove to keep it going. Because more wimps. If we leave during the summer, yeah, we had we'd only be gone time. for like a week. But mm -hmm. during the winter, it's easier because this is all, it's all in dormant, you know. Um, do you want to pick a, get a carrot? I think this one's ready. Here, Nicole will. Oh, it has Perfect. dirt on it. <laughs> dirt and all. <laughs> Doesn't get more natural than that. Just some rainwater. Do you want there. me to plant you a nectarine tree? Yeah. <laughs> Toss it. Do it. <laughs> Put it where the carrot was. We'll come back in a few yeah. years and check on that one. Is that the tree that we just planted? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was our tree. There's a slug right there on the side. We can wash it off the well. Okay. To the lake. Timid. You can like to the lake. To the lake. On the other side of it, by the lady that has her house, has the mail drop. Jake's um, over here thinking that we're gonna go swimming. Oh, you. <laughs> we're going swimming. I'm, I'm going swimming. We'll, we'll see. I'm gonna test the water. I bet this looks kind of crazy distortion with the trees. Bridge to Narbithia? Yeah. We're still figuring out this new camera. It might not be able to capture 
very well because it's kind of dark in the trees. The trees are so dense. But hopefully I can give you kind of an idea. Ooh, berries, you want these ones? No, they don't know if they're edible. He said all the berries are edible. That's a joke. How did they manage to walk past and not take out this entire spider web? Keep going. Wow. We hold this for us? No, this, we'll just this, take no, it with takes us. You, we'll this takes you right back to Ava. Take you. Take you, guys. Right? Ava or Eva? Eva. Eva. Through the portal tree. <laughs> Whoa! What? Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. Could you rather come in here when it's raining? That like, would be magical. So you can come down or snowing. Wow. Cool, huh? Feels like a literal rite of passage. <laughs> now we have to swim in the lake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Look at this. Just had birthday champagne. Birthday champagne was the best thing. You guys are ready. I'll push up. I know, it's actually I saw pretty it. clear. The water's really clear. <laughs> uh, a black widow there. I don't know what's living there. That one. I don't know what kind of spider that one is. <laughs> and over here we have a banana slug. So romantic. <laughs> we just have an outtakes of this video and it's all just us like <laughs> the mosquitoes there's also a lot of freshwater uh mussels here I like the thought for sure you were going to say crocodiles. Yeah. I just keep picturing, what if some kid let their pet go and now it's like 10 years later? Their pet alligator. I keep picturing that. <laughs> it's scary. Like, this feels so safe. Like, the only thing is that a bear would swim around. Yeah, yeah but I don't think a bear would care to swim to come get you. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So. What's that? Oh. Oh. He jumped in. Yay! <laughs> How do you feel? What? How's it feel? Ready? Dive. Yeah. dive. Is it really, really cold? Look this way. It's Look that way. Chilly. <laughs> Ready? Dive. Here we go. Dive, 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 dive. But we would go. We would go skiing in cold water in Arizona. Yeah. 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 Not wearing wetsuits. Yeah. <laughs> you would want to get up really quick. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for mom. Mom. <laughs> Louie. <laughs> Do you guys ever watch kids shows at all? We watch this. Yeah. <laughs> right. We like sometimes we'll just put on like a Mr. Rogers or a, Mr. Rogers. or a Fred Penner, but, which is like the Canadian version. Oh, see, I don't know that one. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? Whatever you want. What do you want? Run and jump. Let's dive. Dive? Okay. Yeah. Ready? ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> All right. That's not too bad. Right? Ooh. Not too bad. <laughs> I thought you were lying. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see them? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, not as bad as uh <laughs> high five. I'm so <laughs> He's, He's like so upset. You guys so are sorry. cold. <laughs> not as bad as that lake in uh Banff. Oh my gosh. What yeah. lake is that? Moraine? Uh, Louise? Louise. Louise. Louise, yeah. You guys swam in there? She did. I can't believe you guys swam in there. She, That's she gotta be cold. She yeah, I was like, Everyone was like, was like she's not supposed to be swimming. It's cold. This would be really cool. <laughs> was, it, was it like this or what? Way colder. Mm. Yeah, no, it was a mistake. But it was like, I wanted to do it. So yeah. it That's like, like glacial water. Yes, it is glacial water. Yeah. <laughs> that was so cold. Good job, babe. Yeah. You did it. Oh. It wasn't bad. Proper boats. <laughs> okay, where are we going? You're, we're buzzing we're the tower. The yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You'd probably easier if I was in the back. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about these being different lights. I know, it's obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Here, let me get in the back. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> To the wide angle like that. Stop. All right, I'm all done. Go to hell. 20 feet. I'm all done. Oh, you did great. You did great job. No, that wouldn't help you at all. Yeah, it would because I could get the paddles deeper. Right now, I, they're like at the surface. Okay. Jade has rowed us to this really big log. It's a really big log. It is a really big log. This is probably like a four foot across log. It's a really big log. It is a really big log. I'm gonna get on it. Okay. Where's my towel? It's there. I washed up on the beach. This is on the on land. Yeah. Wow, this is a really big log. It is a really big log. Oh, okay. Here you go. I don't know if they're the edible kind. All the berries are edible. I think these are actually nightshade. This is a really big log. Look how noisy this is. This reminiscent of a dog looking at a water bowl. For whatever reason, they have a square hole on it. Well, it probably doesn't bother them, but our hands are not tough like Oh, this. that's right, you're sure. Yeah, I'm myself padding. <laughs> My hands are tired. I want to go in the hot tub! Right. That lake was really cold. Not too bad, though. Does this just come out the top? Yeah, it does. We should go through the, the steps for us to be able to take this hot tub. Not including... Not including like installing the well and running the piping, but we have to pump the water. The water then has to get pumped to the hot tub. We had to strain the pine needles out of the hot tub. Yeah, we're earning this. <laughs> we have to, I mean, Jake chainsawed the wood into the right size pieces, but then I split the wood into burnable size. Then we will have to start the fire, let that water circulate and kind of stir it a little bit while it circulates. Then we can take a hot tub. Yeah, go back a few steps. Jake and Nicole had to install. R right, the right. Well. They, that's what I'm saying, though. Oh. The, not including like the installing the well, running the piping, running, Easy. running. There's a there's an electric pump in this that is pumping the water. Sorry, I guess the pumps over there, but it's pumping the water to the hot tub, which is way over there on, on the other side of the yurt. So, yeah. I think I think we'll appreciate it more. I think so. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Brett has gotten the fire blazing in our choo-choo train. <laughs> So it looks like and that is heating up the water for the hippie hot tub we both got really kind of cold after dipping in the lake so we warmed up by the fire i took off my cold swimsuit um, and we're waiting for this to warm up and you're wearing pajamas i didn't I, we just came with one backpack like i don't have very many clothing options and i wanted sleeves so the the cold water goes in the bottom because you know hot water rises cold water sinks so it goes in the bottom tube comes through here and then in the back is like a tank of water and the fire's blazing. So then the water heats up, rises, and then comes out this tube 
and goes out. And then, so we just kind of stir it every once in a while to kind of move the water, cycle it around because there's no pumps or anything. This is all just a fire. That's it. That's like nature. Yeah, you guys can kind of see the ripples there. Do you see that? Hot water. waiting for Beth to come back with the camera battery so I was like out there shivering and I came to hug the fireplace. This little fan spin because of the heat of the stove. So the stove's still pretty hot. But this is our last day here. We're not sleeping here again, so I don't need to keep that going. We have woken up, got dressed, brushed our teeth, gotten some coffee in our systems, and now we are gonna go do some archery. Shoot some bow and arrows. Shoot some bows and arrows, maybe some crossbows and bolts. Maybe crossbows? Yeah. I've never shot a crossbow And before. then I think we're doing Stir fried rice, egg fried rice for breakfast. Yeah. I'm probably on the outside walk. This is just cool. It's all just fun. This is really it's cool. It's all just fun. Very, very cool. So, very cool. If you guys aren't already following Jake and Nicole, what they're doing is really cool and really hard. Everything about this life is hard. I feel like it's super similar to sailing and cruising lifestyle, though, and like the spirit of it, the spirit of like really connecting with nature and living off the land and working hard to like build your life mm -hmm. and, and the forethought and planning that and intention that goes into like every single Everything. day. I, I just feel like the type of people, the type of personality that goes into cruising is the same mm -hmm. that goes into this sort of thing. And I just, yeah, that chooses to do this. It's such, right. it's such like a parallel path. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that last night or the other day when I was, I was feeding the fire. And I, you know, I went and chopped some wood and then I was feeding the fire and kind of keep going and thinking, you know, this is actually fairly similar to being on a boat when you're having to manage all the different systems and checking weather and all the different things. Just and you just, system. you just have to be, well, and you have to be aware and kind of paying attention. You can't just turn on the faucet and let it heat up like you can in a house, right? You need to think about, okay, well, do I have enough water for that? Can I, how am I going to heat that water? You know, all the different little steps that you just kind of take for granted. You don't even think about when you're in a city. Right. Which is nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. But I mean, when we, when we go to a hotel or go to your mom's house, it's like, like Oh look, hot shower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, it's, and it's nice. 
But I think that the thing about it is that that extra work, that extra step, that extra thought gives a deeper level of appreciation and just pride in your life that I feel like brings out a sense of accomplishment in in the human spirit. Definitely. Nice. Yeah, well, well, Which way is our man? well, like we walked in here and it was still warm in here because I started, oh, yeah. I started <laughs> up the front door and I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we really appreciate that there's that little fire that they installed, that they put there and plumbed and ducted and everything so that we could have like, it, yeah, yeah. Brett and I, okay. So Brett and I, a lot of you guys know this, but if you're new to the channel, Brett and I grew up originally in Arizona, then eventually moved out to be near family in Hawaii. And then now we live on a boat. Like most of our life has been in very, very warm places. Yeah. So right before <laughs> vlogging just now, we were talking about how the temperature here is our ideal winter temperature. Yeah, this, this summer temperature yeah, is our ideal <laughs> winter temperature. Literally like the warmest, sunniest summer day here for them. But we were like, we could live somewhere if this was as cold as it got. Yeah, a light jacket in the morning, you know? Yeah, yeah we you, could do that. Because then you get the fun of like having the fire and having like a little bit of a season. Because we haven't had seasons, not really. Not really. And so like having just like a tiny bit of a season where you get a blanket and hot cocoa and a Yeah, hot and you have a down blanket on the bed and it's nice and you want to be yeah. under that. Right? But like, it's that's cool. it. Like, no colder than this, though. Yeah. I like your shirt. I am about to be Katniss Everdeen. Girl on fire. I don't know if I've ever shot a real bug. Really? Yeah. Have you shot like a compound? What are those called? Yeah, a compound. Com yeah, I don't think I've ever. Com compound. Complicated? Compound. Yeah, I don't think I've ever Condescending? shot. Condescending? Like a legit bow. I think I've shot like, you know, like cheapy ones, but I don't think I've ever it's actually shot. Look at this. We got like top of the line stuff just so we can like feel like we uh had a bunch of weapons to defend ourselves against yeah yeah like you could actually do something if you needed to yeah <laughs> dude the world was crashing toilet paper was 800 bucks right. a roll and i was like we're in the middle of the forest <laughs> nobody can visit anymore i'm Let's like buy bow and arrows and then we, we went we never go to town anymore right unless we pick somebody up like you guys so we go to town and like the grocery store was empty yeah and we're like what's happening to the world i'm like we're getting everything we're getting like a lot of different weapons Anyways, yeah uh <laughs> but you're in Canada, so the weapons you get are <laughs> crossbows. In America, everybody's American, buying well, up <laughs> rifles. <laughs> That's you can funny. do guns in Canada. There's a lot more like licensing and wait lists yeah, and yeah. how and things right, like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, everybody else we know that bought up weapons for. They're buying like ARs and yeah. you know yeah. automatic shotguns. And for sure, for sure. We bought a spear gun. We did buy a spear gun. A pole spear? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's... yeah. <laughs> With the yeah. rubber band. I'm yeah, sure not even guys... a spear gun, a pole spear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, uh, Dead Calm, that movie with Nicole Kidman. It's uh -uh. a movie. Uh -uh. Well, I know she's never seen it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> By default, Jade has not seen yeah. whatever the it's, movie is. I think it's uh, Sam Neill, the guy from Jurassic Park. Okay. okay. And Nicole Kidman and, um, and Billy Zane. Oh, Billy yeah, Zane. Billy Zane. Zane. And the whole movie is just the three of them, and it's on the water, they're in the middle of the ocean on the sailboat. And okay. And the world ends. Billy Zane. Comes up and he's acting like he yeah, he's in trouble, but then he ends up being like this serial killer, crazy, and then they have to defend. And she ends up at the end. It's like the ultimate. So the crossbow with a uh, with a spear, oh, like a uh, spear fishing gun. That's awesome. It, yeah, I actually made a point not to watch sailing <laughs> movies. <laughs> this one will make you think like. That might never, out to never get me. say hi to somebody when they're coming up. And right. I've never seen it. He keeps wanting me to see it, but I've seen previews and I'm like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> I'm not watching. People that. are always like, it's oh, you guys movie. like remind me of a drift. <laughs> Like, have you seen oh, a drift? Yeah. People ask us that all the time. I'm like, no, why would I watch that? Boom. Yeah, let's go. Legolas. Legolas. <laughs> Jade, Jade says she's going to be Katniss. Everyone's got like a tendency, just like with, with golf, if you can master your tendencies, you can you can hit square. So Nicole's tendency is she always shoots high. Like, always shoots high. So she has to like train her eye to aim low. Ooh. So. Good shot. Let's see what you got here. This is a 60 pound bow, and then Nicole's is like a 40 pound. So I've never shot a bow. You, you, got, you got enough athleticism. Let's, let's <laughs> go. Let me use your, your glove. You don't need the glove, that actually makes you look really cool. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I can sure. see where the arrow goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stick it out. Stick it out. <laughs> I'm not wearing the cute belly shirt. Oh, it's happened to you too. Take, take two. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that! Wow. Even better. Nice. Well done. I just got it sent so you guys are like right there. Awkward. Who are you guys? We are Brett and Jade. We are fellow YouTubers. 
in a kind of a different realm. Not that very, different, though. Very, very, very Slightly different. Slightly different. Realm. Well, thanks for coming to our, <laughs> our yurt, uh, secret yurt wilderness compound here at Kamoredi. Thank you. I got to say that, like, when I first found out who you guys were, I cried in your channel. You guys made me cry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We made you cry. It was, all the it was, oh guys? no, it was the first thing about yeah. no, no. it was COVID. Yeah, your episode. I just look for like a lot of like I've been in YouTube so long, so I just appreciate when somebody's like really real and it's not like a fake thing. And your first episode I saw when you guys nope. um like you did a phone uh auction. Yep. And you battled out other other people that wanted to buy your mm -hmm. sailboat, mm -hmm. and you won the auction. And just that, just that cut the way you guys cut that, I really was oh, cheering okay. for you guys to win the auction. I was like. They're not gonna win. They're gonna win this auction. I don't even know who these people are. I'm like, yeah, right. You're feeling. He's like telling me. Yeah. He's like Nicole. Okay, I found this couple, and, <laughs> and I'm like, and this guy's a pilot. Like, I would love to fly like that. And then they're gonna do this together and do this work together. But it was just like the winning of the auction. I was like, yeah, yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah, get those weeds. <laughs> yeah, can you guys just come in? Oh, thank you. I'm about to fall back. Okay. 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 It's okay. Nice. You get it. Sounded like it. You moved it. Wobble. Brett? Yeah, I'll give a shot. Takes some strength to get that last inch. Uh. <clears throat> okay. More, more, more. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, got nice. it. You knocked the whole thing down. <gasps> well, I think you saved bear or er, fox from that bear. Or he caught you a deer. And or you get that. to eat for the month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Look, thanks. First time I've seen it. Yeah. I'm impressed. Jade really? should be. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay, for sure. I actually feel like I have a stronger version of the weapons. Do you want to? Do you want to? This is a tool. I think I'm just it? discovering that right now. Are you okay? Which one's your arrow? Uh, I don't know which one's mine. Maybe the one that's super deep in there, or yeah, they kind of went out the side. That's probably mine. Actually, probably is because it was angled. Was it? oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> it's hard to pull them out without damaging the feathers. Yeah, I was say I don't want to hurt the feathers out. Yeah. Here's the it's like a, any action film ever. You got to break the arrow and pull it out of the arm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, once you pull, I push. Go. There you go, and then get that momentum. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh. <laughs> so you push that one. Oh. <laughs> nice. <Got it. laughs> well done. Yeah, that would that'd hurt. <laughs> yeah. We're doing breakfast and Jake's like, oh, we need some carrots. Let me go get some out of my garden. And hazelnut trees. That's what these ones are? He yeah. you, you you overheard. <laughs> Soy milk, oat milk, rice milk. No, hazelnut milk is my favorite. Really? Like plant milk. I don't think you ever had that. There you go. Very uh rich. Yeah. Like and we all saw how much toilet paper went for during COVID. So Ooh. I always feel like if if Apocalypse happens and we got hazelnuts. Perfect solution. I can survive, you know. Oh, you mean the hazelnuts? You use the leaves? Uh, no, the actual nuts. I thought we were going a different oh, direction no, no, no. with that story. <laughs> yeah, same here. I was thinking you're going to use the leaves as teepee? Well, All right. Yes, actually, like, yes. I mean, they would work. They're pretty big. They're pretty they're quite soft. They're pretty fuzzy, yeah. Yeah, that would work. So this is our incredible garden that has everything. This is garden number one. And this will become, like, this is the... This is the main garden, but then this will become just the staple foods because we're going to have three times this garden next to the new container, shipping container house. So, Oh my goodness. Have you guys seen holes? That's <laughs> yes. Oh yeah? yeah? With Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. 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 And he gets to the oasis and he's eating the onions and you're like happy for him, but also like... Yeah. I've never seen somebody bite into onions See, before that's that. one I never saw. That. I, I, I know of it, I never saw it. I knew Shia LaBeouf I've got one on him! You got one! <laughs> That's a classic. A, that's not a classic. But it's a classic in my household. <laughs> yeah. What we'll do is we'll grab some. A lot of times when you garden for multiple years, you get like volunteer plants. This is like a volunteer bok choy. Volunteer. That's a really nice way to describe weeds. Yeah, that that's the thing. See, when you do a, a food forest permaculture based garden, um, year three, four, five, and beyond are the easiest because you'll just have so many things seeding themselves that the garden becomes its own entity. And right. So, this is the beginning. Like this is year three of this garden. So the beginning of like Random broccoli, carrots just pop up. And speaking of carrots, um, we'll go over here. The carrots still need about another um, month or so, but we have some that made it. You're right out of like this, the 
40s with that hat. We usually plant more zucchinis because we can make tempura out of the flower. See, this is a male flower. Use the flower. It's super edible and you can bread them with a tempura batter and then you can fry them in oil and it's there really good. Or you can add them to salads. Or you can let them grow into zucchinis. But do, yes. you, do you pick the flowers so that it doesn't overrun the plant? Well, see, look, I'll, so I'll show you. So one plant will have male and female parts. So look at all these um, flowers. See, like you can see how this became one. The yeah, flower's yeah. still open and good. But this will never become one. This is the male flower. Yeah, so we can actually like, we can dice these up and we'll add them to our egg fried rice at the end. Okay, cool. You have to carry all this. Oh, good. You're the basket today. I am the basket. The is hard part this year, every year is different for a gardener, and this year we've had is that, is that we had a mouse apocalypse, like more mice than ever before. So I've I've seeded these trellises four times with beans and peas, mm -hmm. and every time, whether I use glass jars, the mice have eaten all my seeds. So I'm seeding them in cups right now. Um, one more chance. So. I'm kind of clearing the path for my oh, trellis. Can I pull that one out? Yeah, go for it. Let's do it. He puts it back in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> pull it out of there. Oh, no, wait, I can't reach. Here, I'll hold your stuff. Here. Okay. Go for it. Oh, this is a good one. Ooh, that is a good one. And then see, we have, and then just a bunch of lettuce plants that are volunteer lettuces all over. There you go. I just put it in the crook of my arm. <clears throat> Very awesome. We just walked out there and but it's only July. The garden really is harvest mode in September. Really? So we're super early so, so that's good despite being early. Wow. This is good. So you're gonna be pulling this up for the next several months. Yeah. And then some, and then more. Like right now, my purple potatoes, they're like cosmic purple. They're ready to go. But the other ones are not. So like some, you always wanna plant different varieties cause then you'll stagger your harvest, you know. Uh, let's cook by fire. <laughs> it's like little ego things in the forest like trying to one match my way to a fire or, right or like if it's like the wettest day of the year like can i light the fire in like 10 seconds right walk yes like traditional Chinese cooking onion we actually picked for the season. Really? Because they need more time, but this one looks like it was the big I was eyeing it the other day. That looks pretty good. Alright. Let's grab it. Grab me. Is he awake enough? Okay, I'm gonna say that part of it. <laughs> no, I, uh, <laughs> okay, we get a little off. Not to like, not like the bang. Right. What? He immediately steamed up the lens. I'm just smelling all the things for you guys because you don't have that chance, but it smells so good. Imagine.
we'll do like, we can dice these guys up and put them on our, at the end here. All right. Mm. I really love that we put the zucchini flowers in it. Yeah. Because growing up, we always grew zucchinis, but I didn't know that the flowers. Squash blossoms. Yeah. You could, you could do like a stuffed squash boss, blossoms or like a, we call them like a, you can batter them and fry them. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And like a Tempura. crunchy, like a crunchy chip, yeah. We just finished up breakfast, got things cleaned up, and now I think we are going to split. And I think Jake and I are going to go, look at this little tunnel I'm walking under. These are kiwi, which I literally just learned grow on a vine. I did, I never even considered how kiwi grow. Kiwi grow on a vine. Like, look at this. Look at this vine. Like, bigger than my finger. Anyways, yeah, Jake and I, I think, are going to go plant a tree. And Jade and Nicole, not Jake and Nicole, Jade and Nicole, are going to dye garments, I think. I, I, I think that's what they're They might just be preparing to do that. But right now, they are picking the things necessary to do activities. Yeah, the volatile oil, how much oil. Like indigo has so much that it will just keep up Red wine. Even when you touch it, red wine has a lot of those, those tannins. oils, those tannins, yeah. So I'm gonna shame with the cool. <laughs> I think they're black cats. Are they thimbles? No, they're definitely not thimbles. They look good. They're really good. These are the most ripe ones I've seen so far. Mmm, they're yummy. Those are super yummy. I'm have to pick some of these vibrant leaves. The vibrant leaves. This is our morning activity. You can see how good we did. I think these are both mine way over here. This is a nice walkway. I think that's cheating. Right. That was painful. <laughs> nice work, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for letting me drive your toy. Oh, we're doing cherry. Because this is cherry and then the rest is plum. I want to start with the rose. So. All right. Um, I gotta do a lot of cherries here, so this is it. And this, okay. I gotta have them make a road here. So. You let me play with the tractor. I'm not very good at it, but now we're planting a cherry tree. The tractor was such a guilty pleasure because I just, I've thrown my back out so many times, and when I got 40, I told Nicole I should get some help. So yeah. help came in the form of 
it's a blast. Akio that, that was really fun. Yeah. I mean, I think forever this should be called the Expedition Evans Cherry, or maybe the, is it the, is it Eva? Eva. Eva. Yep. The Eva Cherry. Eva Cherry. Your sailboat name. All right. So we're going to muscle these four logs and make a nice square like I did there. We could so use one. the tractor, but it would take like all day. So <laughs> it, it makes you respect those dudes that can oh, man. handle those excavators with such care. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna kind of orient the square like this down the line, you know? So you can put that wherever. Like, whatever the, you have the biggest one, so put yours on the downside. Yeah, perfect. Oh, so mine's totally so bad. So I'm gonna just kind of like jump and you can kind of like pull the pot away. Yep, yep. Got it? I always try to do it where I don't break the soil. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. We'll get like a little metal um, label and we'll. We see you guys next time. We'll have you engrave and then we'll all behind you. It feels pretty cool to have planted some tree roots in the ground and leave a little bit of Eva here with Jake and Nicole. We have a few hours before we need to get on our flight back to the boat, and so we head as deep into the forest as we dare, bear spray in hand. And while we aren't ready to settle down and plant our roots yet, we have loved every second of our time spent in their realm of nature. I'm gonna hold you to that. I'm up for it. I'm that's a big tree. Thank you guys for coming on this epic side quest with us. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've really enjoyed the video, then I think you have to hop down the rabbit hole into the glories of off-grid and homestead YouTube. Jake and Nicole's channel is a great place to start. As for us, we're back to the boat because the wind and the seas aren't quite done with us.